Welcome, 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 um, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first week of April. This week begins from the 5th until the 11th. All right. This reading is for the Aquarian, Gemini, and Libran. Um, my guides have asked me to change up the reading because people need to understand who is your soul family, okay? Um, as you understand who is your soul family, then you will be aligned with the proper energies, okay? So a lot of you, you got to find out and you got to learn who is your soul family okay who is your soul family and this is going to be very important all right i have three messages that is here um so this reading is a um a, um a collaborative reading and what we do with this reading um we look for um, the energies that is going to be affecting you, air sign people. So this is just going to be one reading where we have uh, the energies that is going to be affecting you. Now, for someone out there, we see um, a, a tower moment, a tower moment, the energy of the magician, ten of swords, and the sun. Something, some sort of an information is coming out. Okay, so. Um, this is a tower moment, and then we have the energy of uh, the magician in reverse, and they're now recognizing some sort of unfair um, play that was happening, some sort of a, yeah, unfair games that was playing, and the truth is now out. The truth is now out. So um, for you, Aqu um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, um, something that some of you were thinking about when you started watching this reading and you were questioning, the truth is going to be coming out, okay? Some sort of an undesirable um, play that was transpiring. Now, when we have the energy of the tower moment uh, um, with the energy of the magician, this is about something huge is going to be happening. And it has to do with some um, lies, some sort of a, a lies that was created okay you see this this is definitely some sort of an untruth that was happening and transpiring and it is all coming out it is as if um, people had kept behind some sort of information um, that you guys were supposed to be having okay and receiving and now you guys was like kind of blind and now the the um, blind light is going to be um, released and you're going to be coming out of the blindness that was created and a lot of you are going to be recognizing the foul play um, that was happening okay so it's as if you you were not seeing a situation properly okay um so ladies and gentlemen thank you for coming in um and uh, um sometimes changes have to come up and i've I find out that the universe wants uh, to have like uh, um, people understanding who are their soul family. Okay, we have another thing: the sun, the sun. So again, I was shuffling the cards, ladies and gentlemen, and the energy of the sun comes out. So expect that something that was hidden is going to be coming into light um, in this um, a week. Okay, the week of the fifth until the eleventh. And remember, this is a collective reading for the Aquarian, Geminis, and Libran. Let's go in and see what is coming out. So we see a lot of you could be receiving some sort of a new start. And this is going to be good. I see a lot of you could be having some sort of a new start um, with your your um, your wife. Maybe there was some sort of a separation and new start is coming in. I see transition is going to be coming up. Okay, so a lot of you could have had some sort of a problem with your wife. Some sort of a transition is going to be coming up. Then we recognize the energy of the Knight of Pentacles, whoever this Knight of Pentacles is and whatever is transpiring. I see some of you could be having some sort of a new start with that person. Then we see the Page of Pentacles and the energy of the Page of Pentacles is about some sort of a money could be coming in or financial help from your mother or from your wife, okay? Then we see the Four of Pentacles is here. 
where there is going to be some sort of a transition that is going to be coming up in your financial world and a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn could be helping some of you. Then I see the energy of the Four of Swords in the reverse and the Four of Swords is going to be affecting people who are in relationship or is dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. Because they are having this energy of the Four of Swords. It's as if things came out about this person. That is going to give you Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra a new start. Then we see the energy of the Six of Cups. Some of you could have had a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person that was your friend. And um, yeah, this is definitely a friend. And you're going to be recognizing and finding out something about this person. This person is between the ages of 18 and 45, okay? Then we see um, love could be coming in for a lot of you. So this is going to be um, very, very good. But I see also some of you are thinking about your money. Okay, some of you, you're really thinking about your money. Then I see the Queen of Swords, whoever the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles is an older person. Okay, between... And this older person could have some sort of a health issue. And they're going to be recognizing that a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person have caused this person this health issue. Then I see the energy of the Nine of Cups. A lot of you, your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. A lot of you who were dealing with some sort of a problem, your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. Then I see the, it's the situation where some of you could have some sort of a conflict with your boss about money, money that was not paid out. So be aware of this. Then we are looking at the five of swords, the five of swords, some sort of an unconventional um, situation is coming up. Where we're going to be looking deeper at this. The five of swords is that a whole lot of inner conflicts and some of you, if you're married to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, there's a whole lot of inner conflicts um, with this person. And this person is looking at the future. This person is moving towards the future and is looking in the future. I see strength. Some of you are trying to find some sort of an inner strength. A lot of you could have married to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, and you're trying to find inner strength to deal with a situation. A lot of you are going to be overcoming, moving forward, overcoming some sort of a problem that was created. Um, information is going to be coming out. A lot of you um, need to get some sort of a rest. A lot of you are overworked and need to get some sort of a rest. So then we see some sort of a information is coming in. There could have been some sort of a problem where some of you had um, uh, connected um or did something to an older Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And we're looking at you Aquarians. You Aquarians could have done something to an older Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is going to be coming out. The Five of Cups is in the verse. A lot of you have no regrets. No regrets. So, so um, this no regrets is coming up where um, some sort of a problem with some sort of a money. If some of you were having some sort of a financial issue i see that this is going to be resolved and your wishes and dream is going to be coming true because whatever the problem and the issues with money it's going to be resolved okay then we are looking at the energy of the devil there was some of you that some sort of an unconventional thing with your financial status so where there was people that was blocking it it is now going to be over and you're going to be very very happy um, releasing yourself and getting yourself out of some sort of an unsavory game that was transpiring. So it's, it's as if a week where a whole lot of truths is coming out. Then we see a lot of you, this could be your mom, whoever this person is, is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person. And this could be your mom. This person is as uh, 50 years and older. This is definitely the energy of your mom is also in a reverse, okay? So I see some sort of information could come out about your mom. I see a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person um, could give out some sort of information about your mom, okay? 
um and then we see the energy of the ten of cups so obviously this is your mom so some of you who have a mother that is a aries Lee or a sagittarian person um some sort of a information is going to be coming out about this person okay and that is like coming up at the end of the week that could be like around um sunday and um the energy of the magician is in the reverse so um let's recap on this um because this is going to be um a longer reading okay and why it's because we're doing this so in the form of uh, we're doing this in the form of uh, um collaborating in order to recognize what I, what is going to be transpiring okay so when we do collective reading because it's as if the universe the universal um gods and goddesses wants a lot of you to understand who are your soul family okay and this is why they ask us to change um, the reading. So the best thing about this week is that a lot of you, your wishes and dreams is going to be coming through. Okay. The energy of the nine of cups is in the reverse. Yes. Nine of cups is in reverse and your wishes and dream is going to be coming true. So, um, you know, looking at the Celtic cross and this is why we do this layout is that we can look at the celtic cross and we can recognize what is happening in trans barn so with the celtic cross some of you are dealing with a older taurus virgo or capricorn person now this person it could be coming up as a mother for some of you but it could be coming up as a wife or it just could be coming up as your boss or a family member now i see that uh, this person there was some sort of a problem with some sort of a um financial situation okay and um the four of pentacles is as if you are supposed to be getting money from this person and i see that this person is finding strength to deal with some sort of a negative energy um some sort of outside forces that was creating a whole lot of problem for this person now whoever this person is whether it's your mom or whether it's a family member or whether it's your boss i see that this person have been trying to protect you from some sort of a negative influence that was happening and transpiring in your lives and this is very good because what is um happening and transpiring um with this reading is that you can recognize that uh, um a lot of you who are dealing or have any any dealings with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person this person has been sort of a trying to help you um and give you strength to deal with some sort of a negative forces that you were dealing with so it could be a mom that is coming in um that is going to be helping you out now whoever this person is she's looking at the future and she's thinking about the future for you and as she's looking at the future and thinking about the future for you what is happening is that this person is going to be making sure that your wishes and dream comes true and this is going to be very very good so as we look at the celtic cross you see that you're dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn woman and she is looking at the future she's no longer looking at the past she's looking at the future and she's making sure that whatever has happened in the past doesn't happen in the future to you and it's as if she's trying to help you to resolve some sort of a situation moving forward in the future a lot of you who are married i see um your you know um a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of an emotional situation with your wife there is no question about this but i see that you're going to be very much coming out of this in a very positive way and i see the problems and issues that you have is all going to be over so um it could be divorce or it could be some sort of a separation but it's as if you're happy you know and that's bad to say but it's as if you guys recognize yeah it was best it was best because you're happy so it's going to be a very very happy week um for a whole lot of you it's going to be a very very happy week because whatever is happening and transpiring 
happiness and joy is going to be coming in, especially people who are divorcing from their wives. Um, it is going to be good. A lot of you, um, your mom is going to be helping you out financially and is going to be bringing back happiness and joy in your world. Um, a lot of you are going to be finding inner strength to, to move forward and the emotional problems that you were having to deal with with your family is going to be over because uh, you're going to be recognizing, okay, this is the end of, uh, of what was happening and it's okay because I'm at peace with it. At least I'm finding inner peace. I'm finding happiness and joy within myself and I'm finding inner peace and this is going to be God. Then we see transition with your money is going to be happening in a positive way. A lot of you are going to be very happy as you come into um, Wednesday. A lot of you are going to be happy as you come in Wednesday. That is looking good. And then I see um, Thursday, Friday, a lot of you are moving forward because it's as if there was some sort of a problem that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person has created. Now, this could be a sister, brother, or a friend. And whoever this person is was very emotional and this person have created some sort of a problem. Now, it could be problem that this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have created for you that has to do something at the workplace, okay? And I see that this boss came in and 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 uh, because this boss came in, they like give you the the, the strength to, to move on. It's like an authoritarian figure came in and and um, help you out of some sort of a hardship that you were dealing with. So it could be a boss where a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have created some sort of a issues, some sort of a problems for a lot of you. And it's as if a boss or an authoritarian figure comes in in order to give you help. Um, and you found inner strength because this person come in and start to communicate uh, and said, no, this is how it's going to be. And I see that this is going to be good. So it is as if whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person uh, is have created some sort of a problem. And I see a whole lot of you um, are going to be communicating some sort of a problem with the family and you're going to be communicating. A lot of you, if your mother is a Aries Lee or a Sagittarian, you're going to be recognizing something about your mom. And I see a lot of you are going to be going at your mom very, very hard because you recognize that your mother has done something that was unconventional. So I see if you have any problems or issues um, that you were dealing with, uh, with a young uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and their parents or uh, it was some sort of a conflict between um, these two people. I see that um, a older Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have communicated something and whatever they have communicated, people are now recognizing that an Aries Leo or a fire sign person have done some sort of a destructiveness. And this is why the energy came out in the, uh, of the sun came out in the reverse because the energy of the sun came out in the reverse to say to you, Hey, listen, listen, listen what is happening. Listen what is going to be happening and see what was happening what you were not aware of. So it's, it's, it's about you um, being aware of something that you were not aware of that a Aries Lee or Sagittarian person was doing. Then we see this transition with your financial stability and a whole lot of you is going to be happy. So let's see what is happening. Some of you who were married to, um, some of you married people, or having problems with your kids that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. I see a whole lot of emotional. And this is as if you're thinking this child has no emotion. This child is just emotionless. This child show no emotions to what I'm going through. And I see transition with your money is going to be good. And a new start is going to be coming up for a lot of you when it comes up to your... um materialistic stability a whole lot of transition is really going to be coming up for your money and a whole lot of transition is going to be here when it comes on to your money and this is going to be good so these are positive positive energies 
however you may look at it so you are going to be receiving some sort of a on um unconventional positive alignment of energies that is going to be coming in your world and that is going to be very good then um we see in the center there is some sort of a situation where financial stability they're recognizing something about a young taurus virgo or a capricorn person and this is going to be coming in on tuesday that some sort of a information about a young taurus virgo or a capricorn person is going to be coming in on tuesday and it has to do with money that this person could have taken and it is going to be coming up on tuesday all right so that was the center so i see money is going to be returning happiness and joy and i see um whatever emotional situation that you guys were going through this emotional situation is going to be a release okay and this is really really good and um, whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring whatever this emotional problems and situation is that was going on it is going to be released okay so especially people between the ages of uh, um 18 and 45 the emotional problems and situation that you were dealing with is going to be released all right so we see a lot of you your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. A lot of you were worried whether or not something was going to be happening. Yes, it's going to be happening. And whatever the emotional problem that you were dealing with, it is going to be over. If some of you had some sort of a problem with your boss or with your parents, um, if your parents are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, man, and your mom is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I see this person is really looking out for you. So a lot of you, if you thought that this person had just turned their backs on you, no, 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 they haven't turned their backs on you. They are looking out for you. And this is going to be good because whoever this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person is, is has given, um, some sort of an information and it has took down some sort of outside negative forces that was affecting you, okay? And this person is just really there, um, you know, giving you inner strength to remove some sort of a negative forces that was in your life and helping you to bring back uh, um, emotional stability in your world. And this is going to be good. Then we see that some of you between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be having some sort of an issue with the family. And you are going to be recognizing that there was outside forces that was influencing something in your family. But whatever this negative energy is and was, you're going to be regaining uh, stability over this negative energy. There was a negative energy that was affecting your life. And you're going to be... um releasing this negative energy from you and um you are going to be letting go of the inner conflicts and the worries that you were having with an Aries or a Sagittarian person and for some of you this person is coming up as your mother-in-law this person is coming up as your mom that you were dealing with or as your wife that you were dealing with but whoever this lady is is 45 years and older now Whatever the emotional imbalance that this person has brought in your life, you're going to be walking away from it basically and recognizing, hey, I have enough to deal with and I'm not going to be picking up your issues and problem also. I'm going to be dealing with what it is that I need to deal with for myself because you have been creating a whole lot of chaos in my world. Then we look and we see the energy of the five of swords a lot of you have inner conflicts and this inner conflicts is going to be over and it is going to be over because you kind of recognize how to resolve this inner conflicts. Okay. And this inner conflicts that you have been dealing with for a very long time is finally going to be over because you're going to be removing yourself from some sort of a negative um, forces and energy that was creating issues and problems in your world so let's recap on monday some sort of a new start is going to be coming up with your financial um situation some of you were having some sort of a hardship dealing with some sort of a financial problem some of you are going to be returning to your wife some of you an end could be coming in to your marriage okay um then we see on tuesday a lot of you are going to be finding out uh, um, what a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have done. 
um, some sort of an information is going to be coming out that this person could have took a whole lot of money that was not theirs and they are going to be paying you back uh, um, this money. So it could be a sister, a brother, this person is between the ages of 18 and 50 and they're going to be recognized that this person had took a whole lot of money from a lot of you. On Wednesday, I see a lot of you are going within, going within. You're tired. You're at work, but you're, yeah, just taking and going within because uh, um, there's a whole lot of problems that was going on. And a lot of you are emotional, emotional and just going within and within you're going to be finding enough in a in a strength to deal with all of what that was going on around you. A lot of you, um, your wishes and dream is going to be coming back because a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person is going to be making sure um, that the people in authority recognize and try to resolve some sort of a situation for you. So your wishes and dreams, the nine of cups is the center of this week. And a lot of you are going to be happy that something came out and has brought you back happiness and joy. Okay. And a Taurus Virgo, an older Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person has brought a whole lot of you back happiness and joy. Um, then when we look at, uh, um, that is Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, um, we see that there was a whole lot of conflicts, uh, a whole lot of emotional worries, uh, a whole lot of conflicts is also going to be coming to an end. And what we see is that you're going to be leaving this conflicts moving forward um, and getting out of some sort of an unconventional issues that was created for a lot of you because you're moving forward. People between the ages of... Uh, um, 25 and 50 people between the age of 25 and 50 on Saturday. I see your emotion is going to be over. Um, whatever that was transpiring, you're emotionally less because a negative forces or a negative energy that was affecting your life. A Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn came in and helped you to release this negative forces that was affecting your life. So it's as if you come in the weekend feeling really, really good on Saturday because on Saturday you're coming to yourself and you're recognizing that there are people out there that really loves and care about you and people out there who are looking out for you, whether or not you are aware of this and this is going to be good. Then um, on Sunday, a lot of you could be having some sort of an issue with your mom, uh, definitely. And I see whatever this issue that you were having with your mom, with this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person, whoever this Aries Leo and Sagittarian person is. So the issue that you were having with her it's as if the the, the the um information is going to be coming out about this person. So let's say that this person is your mom, your mother-in-law, or your sister, whoever this older woman is, is a family member, and there is no win for this family member because people now recognize what this family member have done. Okay, it's an Aries or Sagittarian person. People have now recognized what this family member have done and how this family member have created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems for you guys. So, um, you know, let me know how you feel about this reading, because I think that this is there is just so much that is coming up because we look at all the seven days of the week to see what is going to be transpiring on these days and what is going to be coming up for you. Um, you have to recognize and understand that each and every person, your soul families, you have to work with your soul families in this timeline because uh, a lot of people have been saying, oh, why is it that uh, um, the cancers uh, are having people, certain energies, certain people um, get it by a whole lot of stuff, okay? And sometimes you have seven years of good luck, seven years of bad luck, okay? Seven years of issues, karma, um, that you have been um, dealing with and a lot of people. So I, um, you know, I, I was meditating and, you know, my guides and angels said people need to know who are their soul families, who are the people who have their backs. And this is a situation where 
um, you guys are going to be learning who are your soul families because Aquarian Gemini's and Librans, your all soul families, you help each other. Okay, sometimes there will be more issues that is coming up, as especially in this week. I see um, the Librans are very emotional, but at the end of the day, this emotion will end. Okay, because I see um, you're going to be receiving love. Um, and then we see the Aquarians. The Aquarians are really having some sort of a problems with their mothers. But we don't see the energy of the Geminis because it's a um, a collaborated reading where the Geminis are going to be flowing and all what is happening is transpiring and is affecting all of you. So this is a really, really wonderful way to do these readings. So everyone, so it's going to be a week of life experience, okay? Whatever is happening and transpiring, it's really going to be a week of life experience, okay? So um, this is this is really showing up why because if you notice some sort of a message came out and the life experience has to do with a lot of you are going to be learning something okay so whoever is divorcing or whoever was in some sort of an unconventional a negative situation where outside forces was affecting your life it's a life experience so some of you could end this experience in this week so we gotta learn um, what it is to be in collectiveness uh, and how we recreate uh, and understand in order to release ourselves from these experience. Okay, so this week is a week of life experience uh, um, because some sort of a information, okay, light is going to be coming out, information is going to be coming out. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing that a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person has been actually protecting you without you even knowing that. I do love you guys. I got to go, but I'm saying namaste. Please remember to thumbs up, like, and share these videos. Let me know how you feel about this. This is a much longer reading that gives up so much information for you guys. Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming out because light has been shed on something. So it's a, a week of life experience for a lot of you. I gotta go. Namaste.